All right, welcome back to Labyrinth of Galeria, video number 77 so far. Yep, blind let's play or my first time playthrough. Uh, I was I was going to do some off-screen grinding, but I decided to keep on going because I can't wait to go to the next, uh, you know, dungeon or world, actually. This is starting to get a bit tedious, <laughs> or very tedious, you know, because lots of backtracking and stuff. Now, I wanted to do some off-screen grinding, um, but I didn't. Well, be to get more mana, because we finally got some new things on the Witch Petition Tinker. Tinker with the Puppet Soldier to increase its skill points. Huh. By 10. Each Puppet Soldier can be tinkered. Oh. Increase its skill points. Oh yeah, the skill points it's talking about is uh, right over here. If you go skills... Yeah, skill point. So this one I got out of 40. So the more skill points, the better. So that you can use a lot of good skills. Look at this. And the more you reincarnate, yeah, you can learn a bunch of skills here if you change class, which I might gonna do. Yep, but unfortunately you're gonna equip different equipment every time you reincarnate to a different class. Yeah. Hold, hold up. <laughs> Sorry. So look for the best ones and then, yeah. And there's some bad ones. Increase all 10... So yeah, I'm going to be doing this stuff off screen, but I'll let you guys know. And I'll do the tinkering uh, off screen. So what else they add? So tinker. So why not? I'm going to do it just once. And you have to choose a puppet, so I'll choose Saber. Yay. You can only do it once per puppet. Yeah. Okay, what else uh, they add? Open heavy doors. Learn the Fantability Door Basher. Allows you to open and close heavy doors. What the? I'm gonna need this. Because I bet there might be a dungeon or a new world that we're gonna go to. So I'm gonna need that. It's gotta be a new thing. And that's it. Okay. Well, ah. Uh, we need to keep finding Kirio the art, so you know what that means, I I understand the pattern now. Uh, what you're supposed to do when you get this far is check the, uh, what do you call it, those, um, yeah, like this stuff right here, this purple stuff, the gooey darkness area, or in other words, um, the sacred area. And look for the ones that you haven't been, I already been here. So I'll be right back until I'll let you guys know which one I'm supposed to be going next. Aha. Uh -huh. Finally. Okay, so the next one I need to go is right here. So you notice nothing yet. Like, if it doesn't say gooey darkness, then go here. Because this wasn't here before. So apps, floor 5. So I'll see you guys there quickly. All right, so I'm at floor five. Thank gosh, these teleporters are so helpful when you go down floors quickly. So let's go, but yeah, let's go over there. I'm gonna break some walls. Oh yeah, didn't we learn a new ability? Let's see. Never mind. Never mind. Oh gosh, damn it. Let's start the experiment. Oh, I'll, I'll show this off. First fight of the video and Get easy enemies. Yay! Here. Yeah. Cleaning's done. That went well. Easy fight. Easy enemies. Cause that's why I want to go to the next world. And yeah. Huh. So we have to make our way over here, and then over here finally. Cause yeah, this is the one that we find the Curio de Art, important one. Oh yeah, you know what? A shortcut. I forgot about that. Oh, why did I? Block it all. Never mind. Just uh, kill him. Time to... <laughs> and of course, when we go to a new world, we might kind of find some nasty monsters and uh, optional bosses. The real part of the game, right? Because in the first game, Labyrinth of 
uh, you, you know, I mean, not uh, the first game, right? Uh, Coven of Dusk. Jeez, I don't know what. Let's just just check over here. I mean, we we explore different worlds, man. It's crazy, but we'll see about the different worlds in this game. So this is the fourth one. Guys, you find yourself in a completely different location. Self-portrait of a witch. Scrap. Yeah, see, I'm starting to see the pattern here. Ooh. What the heck? Lots of clovers. So basically, when you hear different music, fiery mystery leaf. And when you encounter that, it's like basically what you're going to go through the next worlds so this is the fourth one and you can hear the music of that specific world that you're gonna be going that's a lot of clovers so why not I'm gonna collect them all I mean just in case if someone wants clovers and that's it all right let me guess a leprechaun let's examine so who is in here Wait, what? You sense an almost familiar, mysterious presence from the doll and its costume. Seems familiar to you. Doesn't appear to be a curio of the art, but it may be best to bring it back to the witch. Uh, oh. This is different. I thought there's some something going to show up here. Okay, then. But some sort of space. What? Is there a device somewhere nearby that's causing the distortion? Your party leaves the area. What? I guess we can't go here yet. Okay. Let's leave a mud exit here, just in case, because we need to come back. Man, but this is different. Alright, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do a quick save, just in case. We could carry the carrier around, but I didn't notice any effects. I don't know if I'm wrong, or is it really doesn't do anything? Yeah, because remember, if you touch the curio, it has a curse. So why is it not affecting Eureka when she touches them? What the the noblewoman the other day really was royalty. The count passed on her request. She's she wants to restore her youth. Yeah. She agreed to fund further explorations, so he accepted it on my behalf. He's eager for success. Man, she ticks me off, but drawing too much attention will only make things harder. Yep, you gotta focus on your mission. So I'm just going to use alchemy to make her a miracle pill. P.S. It looks like Eureka's sending her salary home, but she's so obvious about it. It's easy for me to steal a little. She's so naive, idiot. Wow, what the heck? But you know what's going to happen to that money, you know? And uh, I'm going to continue looking for the curios while I analyze the cure the art. How trashy men are. It's driving me nuts. Jeez. Oh, hey, Fanti. Welcome back. Give me a minute. I'm in the middle of alchemy. You sure gotta do alchemy in the middle of a kitchen or something? What if someone uses that? There. Done. Alright. It's time to head over to the Tribuna to check out the Curio. Something oh boy. about this place. Is it just me? Or has it become rather dreary? Oh boy. Ah! Oh. Madam Witch. Perfect timing. Queen Lavalier is here with us today. Yeah, you should have been here, but well, actually, no, since what happened to Nachiro, damn. Goodness. So, you are the witch? My apologies for the other day. I pray you have no lasting injuries? Please don't concern yourself with that. If anything, we were the ones in the wrong. To apologize, I... As I was saying, 
Jeez, this witch is... Or, I mean, tch, my bad, not witch. This queen, man, is more strict. What of your progress, Madam Witch? Do you think you can fulfill my request? Oh, my God. So this time, not sure who has to do it. What the heck happened to Madam Marta? You know, back then in uh, Eureka's part of the story. Man. Uh, actually, I've just completed it. Gives a small potion bottle to Queen... Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Is this it? Very well. I shall take it. Because if you guys remember, <laughs> Madame Marta, like, you know, just gets rid of the wrinkles and she just looks young, that's it. But we'll see about Nachiru about this. I mean, I mean she's a... She got this, right? She She's a mastery of alchemy, right? Like what the... In the witches, um... You know, let's see. My lady, you mustn't drink such a suspicious concoction. Goodness me, Kay. You don't often raise your voice, but it is adorable when you do. However, that shan't stop me from drinking it. I've come all the way to this rundown rule hovel, after all. Besides, this is far better than something else I've been drinking recently. <clears throat> um. If you insist on doing so, I'll ask the guards. Wait, I'll try it myself to ensure it isn't... Ignores Kay's misgivings and down the contents of the small bottle. She just drinks it anyways. Jeez. Because, you know, she just wants to be young, so... Uh, wait, if you do that here... Uh-oh. Well, your skin begins to ripple like waves in water, and she collapses. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, she shouldn't be doing that in front of others. So, does it work? What is happening? <gasps> My throat burns. Water. 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 Uh, oh, boy. Skin reddens before rippling stops, and she suddenly appears to evaporate into a mummy. What? She suddenly appears to evaporate into a mummy-like figure madam witch what have you done to the queen oh crap the blood drains from Nachira's face she runs what M madam witch she she ran away well this is bad already Count, we must call for a doctor at once <gasps> okay <gasps> No, heat is, it's coming from my very core, this heat, no, it, it isn't heat, it's, Is she getting water? Have some water! Brings over a large container of water and pours it all, uh, why'd you do that? Skin rehydrates and it's, it's returns. This rest burst out of her corpse, exposed to all. My lady! Oops, you shouldn't have done that. Vitality! Oh, I don't even need to look in a mirror to know that my body is bursting with youth! Oh, wow. It did work. I guess it takes time. Readjust her corset, tucking everything in. It's clear she looks younger. Th this... What is this sorcery? Uh, you still look the same. Never mind. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. C Count Bismont, was it? Oh my gosh. The exploration funding we agreed on? I shall increase it by five, no, tenfold. Wow. T -t tenfold? And Madam Witch. Yeah. You are the most magnificent witch I have ever met. You have my earnest gratitude and my sincere apologies. Okay, good. At least show some respect. You know, as long as it works, so it works. Huh? Oh, uh, that's. Wow, it did work. I was afraid of what would happen for a moment, Madam Witch, but you performed excellently. 
It appears she's highly satisfied. Perhaps we'll see even more requests from the royal capital now. I will confer all earnings to you, so do be active in accepting such requests. You will earn riches, and this manor shall earn fame. Now, please do continue on your adventures. So yeah, as long as this guy, uh, you know, leaves the room. Okay. Okay. Things looking good. Man, she, probably she got lucky there. Not yeah. you, real. That managed to work out. Now that she's gone, everything's finally calm. Yeah. Still. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vanti? She said I was a magnificent witch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. And obviously, I'm grateful to you, too. Anyway, I guess now's not the time to get excited. We haven't done the auto report yet. I'm gonna do my usual check. Let's see what you brought back. A doll. Huh? This? Isn't a curio to art. Is this a bisque doll or something? It's the size of a kid. What the? The face is made of porcelain. It's pretty commonplace, but I'm getting some sort of feeling from it. Or maybe I'm not. Wait a minute. Duh. Well, it's not a curio to art either way. It isn't like you to mess up like this. Wait, hold on. I just wanted to see what the doll looked like. Pors Wait. <sighs> when did it get so cold? <laughs> I'm totally freezing. Nachi! Are you up? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, here comes the racket. Shivers. I better get some sleep. We'll continue tomorrow. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of requests. Mm. Oh no, don't tell me she's gonna get a nightmare, you know? Bad dreams or nightmares. Nachi! Jeez. Or not, I guess no nightmares or anything. But, you know, uh, Eureka did had nightmares, you know, in her part of the story. Falls out of bed. Oh. Ouch. Come on, hurry, hurry! I'm so cold. And didn't I tell you not to come in my room without permission? Jeez, just knock the door. Get up, Nachi! Come on! Huh? What's going on? <laughs> this is... Oh, that makes sense. It's snowing. Come on! Over here! So that's why it's starting to get cold. Hey! Stop! It's dangerous! No? Huh? This isn't the upheaval phenomenon? Oh, so I understand why in... If you guys remember, um, back in Eureka's part of the story... And the reason why, uh, when you first see Nachiru, and, you know, before, like, you, you, you don't know about the upheaval phenomenon, you know, the ash-afflicting disease or whatever. Yeah, she thought it was that, but no, this is snow, you know. So, yeah, that explains why, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm playing this, uh, Nachiru's part of the story. What? Upheaval? Nope, it's called snow. Talking about this is snow, Nachi. Yep. Unfortunately, her world, the uh, what is that, the Alistair? I think, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it has that. Man, it sucks. Snow. The other one. I've never seen it before. I guess it can't be ash. It's not the right color. Huh. Snow falls in my village every winter, piles and piles of it. It's so pretty. Man. But it's not so pretty, man, in the other world, the twin world. Hey, you should come with me next time! Huh? No. It's too cold. Yeah. Don't want to get sick. Ugh. I'm going back to my room. You can keep frolicking around like an idiot on your own. <laughs> That's awful! You're so mean! Look at how pretty it is! Jeez. Ugh. It's still warm inside. 
Yep. Come to think of it, Kit hasn't contacted me in a while. Hope everything's okay over there. I'm already halfway through my time here. Huh, halfway. It's not coming soon enough. Can't help thinking about mom. Oh yeah, because you know she got affected. Man, that's sad. What what's gonna happen to her when she comes back? Oh. Of course, Marley Quest, please. Uh the bean lover. Oh. Noble Brio. I, I love beans. But my captain won't let me have them in a camp, so I want to show him just how good beans can be by serving him the greatest bean dish I can. Well, there's only one downside. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's kidney beans. Isn't there a quest that someone wants beans? Or we get, yeah, well, we get beans. Like, what the heck? Never mind. Well, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick save and, uh, yeah. Alright, so I did save. So it says the next objective, we have to look for the Curio D art, right? So does that mean we can go to that, uh, lowest floor? Right here. Can we go back here? Because we couldn't get that Curio up ahead. Because we, this, because of that distortion, right? You only pick up a doll. Oh, what the? Uh Oh whoops. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll pick up all this stuff again. Alright, so I picked it up everything and let's see the treasure. Mystery leaf. The rest is clover and then lucky clover. In the middle. Wait, that's weird. I got a wounded clover. I'm not kidding that I picked up before. How come it doesn't show wounded clover? Yeah, it doesn't matter these other ones. It has no items, but this is the only one so far that has clovers. Okay, let's see what happens here because we can uh, examine right here. It starts from a rumble. I guess that's all it needed. Hold your hand over the device and something appears from the crest. Oh boy, let's see what it looks like. What the heck? Painted woman, and that's creepy. Uh, okay. We might see that in the future. I was expecting a leprechaun or something. <laughs> okay. Now we can enter through here and get more of these items. <laughs> yeah, so I apologize. Mystery of Clover. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna leave a medic thing here, just in case if I want to collect more of this stuff. What do we get? Yeah, Suya's Mirror. So we're basically starting to get these, uh, Curio de Art again. Man. Jeez, let's report. Alright, I'm gonna leave a... Let's get out of here. Okay, um, let's see. Alchemy pot. Let's disassembly. Is it worth it? That stuff? Probably not. The, uh... Oh, whoops. It's supposed to be here. Ah, come on. Lucky Clover. Not much mana. See, look. I'm, uh, I got a lot. But, um, hold on. Let's go general store. Is it good for... Pawn. Yep, I know. Is it good for silver? Not much. So, never mind. I might have to remove the seal. Well, this is good enough. Lucky Clover. But I'm saving it for a uh, request. Alright, let's uh, rich report. I mean, that would broke the game. Like, if you want to get mana easily and silver. But anyways, the Queen's Youthful Transformation was a hit in the Royal Capital. We've been getting non-stop requests from nobility. Jeez. Guess my alchemy skills aren't too rusty. I do regret forgetting to bring Paul's book of magic with me. Oh. Instead of a curio, Fanti returned with a weird looking bisque doll. I said something. I'll keep researching for more curios. 
So I'll retrieve the ancient coin of this. I gave Eureka. Guess I haven't gotten any results yet. P.S. It stopped now. Saw snow for the first time ever. Apparently it used to snow and huh until the UP game came. Oh dang, that sucks. Yeah, that's what it's called. I'll I'll Stella. My bad. <laughs> Cause some weather phenomena to go extinct. According to Eureka, it apparently piles up in the northern mountains. Kept this diary each day, but I'm running out of pages. Still no word from Kit. Yeah. Andy didn't come back today either, huh? Maybe there's some trouble underground. Oh, great. She fell down. Ow, ow. Yep, she did. What's going on? Uh, the picture frame fell right on top of my head. Uh, don't tell me if it's that crazy picture thing that I just encountered. It was your fault for cleaning the way you do. You're not careful enough. I hit my head again. Jeez. What if it makes me even stupider? Speaking of, didn't you have to show the Count your academic records when you first got here? I can't see you getting particularly good grades. <laughs> I actually did do pretty well in school. I didn't really understand what was taught, but the answers just sort of came to me. Uh... Uh-huh. Sure they did. Let me guess. You're trying to say you're a, a natural genius, right? Spare me. Yeah, wasn't there a curio de art? If you touch it or whatever, it makes you like a genius. Uh-oh, somebody's here. Oh, is the Count back? Huh. Is it the Count? Oh boy, this guy. Oh, great, the reporter guy or whatever. Rather than the Count, they discovered a flippant man with long hair heading downstairs. So you guys understand what's uh, been happening through you know, the events of Eureka, and now it's going to happen right now. Uh, who might you be? But we might get a different ending, right? Or, I don't know, we'll see what's going to happen at the end. Ah, my sincere apologies. I heard voices, so I welcomed myself in. I forgot oh, your... rude of me. <laughs> I forgot your name again, sorry. I should have introduced myself. Thomas, okay. I'm Tomas. Or Tomas. A journalist with the Daily Cartier, based out of the royal capital. You write... for the papers? Yes, ma'am. I've heard some rather untoward rumors swirling about these parts. I've come to gather information regarding them. Man, and this is exactly the guy from last time that we gave him the screw of Galea, you know, with Kay. You know, this agreement. Oh, well, oh, the well. Count's not at home today. Well, we'll see about, <laughs> about this part. I see. And who might you two be? Are you the Count's daughters? No. N no, I just help out around here. Uh, um, my name's Eureka. Nice to meet you, Miss Eureka. And the lady over there is... Gosh, this feels like deja vu here in this timeline. This is Nachi. Nachi the witch! Hey! Gosh. Hey, didn't Kit Kat's... Oh, well, it's too late anyways. You know, no... You know, you don't want to meet with so many people. I see. So you're the witch I've been hearing so much about. Given that the Count is absent, I shall keep my questioning brief. Have there been any murders here? What? M murders? In the manor? Well, yes. Speaking of... I've heard that the Count hired mercenaries to explore beneath the manor, and not one came back alive. Ooh. Wow. Death is to be expected for sellswords, however. What I'm asking about today is in regard to any other people who have died here. I... I don't know anything about that. Nothing scary like that has happened since I've been here. Hey. Shouldn't you be asking the Count those questions? <laughs> You're right about that indeed. Which reminds me. Can I confirm that you are in fact a witch? 
The restoration of Queen Lavalier's youth is the talk of the royal capital. Rumor says it was a witch's potion and a labyrinth's secret treasure. I've heard she's even been calling on a young nobleman in court as a result. The queen hasn't said anything herself yet, but I sense something is going on here. What's your account of all this? You can ask the count about that too. Indeed I can. I'll be back for him. But my source says this is quite the murder case. Hmm. So who are the victims? Powerful nobles? They're all citizens. Children, in fact. Oh, children. Regarding this case, I expect there'd be a huge commotion if it was revealed the culprit was actually a noble. Ah, I've said too much. Do pardon me. May I ask you something out of curiosity? Are the pieces in this room magic items retrieved from the underground labyrinth? Don't touch them. A life-sized bisque doll and some strange art? It really is a room befitting a witch. Please don't touch anything. Some of them are dangerous. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. So the world is still full of mysteries yet to be uncovered. Well then, I'll be off. I'll return again soon. Give my regards to the Count. Farewell. Yeah, get out of here. We're busy here. <laughs> Sorry. Man. Oh, let me see you out! This is gonna be a long game. Yuri definitely wouldn't. But maybe the Count? It could be. Remember, he doesn't like cats and children. And damn, he has that saber sword almost right up your throat. Like last, the you know, the first encounter. Now, I don't know. There's there's a lot of other things I was thinking. Like, you know, don't forget about that bird flying thing that eats children. Or maybe the Count hired these mercenaries. I mean, this is back then before witches. Like, they try to send people down in the labyrinth, you know, in the wardrobe, man-eating wardrobe. That no one can't come back. I mean, again, you can't, you can't go down there and you can't come back. I mean, it's impossible. Because the only way to do it is, you know, like a, a spirit, you know, a witch. So, I don't know. There's so many questions. Uh -huh. I know this feeling. Fanti? Hmm. Huh. Yep. That's absolutely a curio to art. That's four of them now. Quite a collection. Jeez, that's just four of them out of, like, what, seven or eight? Or I forgot. Man. We'll need to report to the Count soon. Hmm. At the very least, I want to do some research and figure out exactly what that thing is. It seems rather dangerous. Yeah, aren't we missing the the first curio? You know, the Obscura? I forgot what it called. The one that Madame Marta was reading. Yeah. I should bring them all back to Cece after this. But this one's not going to curse me. It's, I think I should oh, look into it more. Or this could go poorly. Uh-huh. Just from seeing Thomas off. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Huh? You haven't done anything. That's not true! I've gone through a lot! Listen, Nachi! When we left, a donkey suddenly charged the journalist and kicked him! <laughs> and then the wheel of his carriage broke? Oh, what the hell? And we left. A donkey charged the journalist and kicked them. And the, man, that bad luck. And he slipped on some donkey poop and he <laughs> banged his head on a rock. It was a whole ordeal. What the heck? What? Uh, could it be? Oh no. Wait. Uh oh. That sneaky journalist. He took that curio to art. Oh no. Yep, he did. That makes sense and why he's getting all that bad luck. What did he took? Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was expecting him taking the uh the screw of Galea again, but no. This time he took something else, the ancient S coin. 
which uh, Nachiru tried to experiment that on her, on Eureka, but nothing happened. But now it's starting to happen on that journalist guy. Dude, he made a big mistake there. Oh, more requests. Oh, I'm gonna check this real quick. Is lunch ready yet? Jeez, I'm getting hungry. Old man in the swamp. Wacky painting. Jeez, I got so much request. I'm gonna check the witch and then um, petition, and then uh, I'm gonna end the video. Ooh, even more facets. So a fable type facet that specializes in using myriad of donum skills as a young boy soldier. It's rather different than other facets. That's a lot. Sure. I probably should have looked around first before. Uh, hold on, let's keep going. And that's it. So let's uh, take a look real quickly. Right here. Huh, a trickster, I see. What the? A male. Why does this look like a male to me? What the? Only boys? What the? I'm confused. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, oh yeah, appearance. No, wait. Sorry, I'm confused. Multiple dome skills excel at commanding. So there is one more facet in the bottom right right here next to the... Okay, so I'll think about it. Having a trickster, maybe. It's really good with lamp or and... Uh, yeah, that's it. Just lamp. But they might have some interesting skills, so... So this is Ray on, uh, yeah, <laughs> Labyrinth of Galeria. Um, next time, yeah, we gotta let's search for more Curio D art. Damn, and we lost one unfortunately. And plus, I'll make I'll make a puppet off screen. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this, and goodbye, everybody.